Hello and welcome to Behave. We open up this first edition of an election year with an exclusive interview with John Key and Anne Tolley, amidst further national furore about educational issues. But first, to rewind slightly, we caught up with Trevor Mallard earlier in the holidays and asked for his opinion on the passing of Education Amendment Bill 2. I think it might be cock-up rather than conspiracy, and it's just been a lack of focus rather than a deliberate attempt to put kids at risk. Now, that, again, I say that might be being, you know, too generous, but, I mean, it's clearly a problem, and you have to be inside Antolly's mind to understand how it came. We'll be catching up with Trevor Mallard again soon, but now, here's that exclusive interview I promised you with the Prime Minister and Antolly. Welcome to you, Prime Minister. Welcome, Antolly. What, in your view, Prime Minister, is the big issue of the week? Well, I think the, um, the, well, the funniest thing in the news this week was uh, Phil Goff uh, being caught dying his hair and then accusing me of dyeing my hair when uh, we all know that I go au national. Do you think that's an important political issue for a small country like New Zealand? Well, it's what the press has chosen. Uh, like, quite frankly, I think it's pretty trivial. I have a lot more important things to deal with. Such as the um, potential selling off of New Zealand's national assets? Yeah, we're not selling off everything, like not the kitchen sink, but we're, we're selling off partially um, various things to uh, give, give mum and dad investors a chance in, in investing in owning part of New Zealand. So really what you're doing is to try and make it possible for ordinary Kiwi mums and dads to own a substantial slice of New Zealand's assets. Oh no, not ordinary Kiwis, they couldn't afford it. <laughs> the Chinese. So what are you going to do about the leaky school situation? Oh, look, I think that's a question for uh, Anne Tolley, our Minister of Education. Yes, Minister. Uh, when Auckland Grammar School has caused a furore by voting no to New Zealand's own National Examination Board, amid reports that you're also losing sleep over the $1.5 billion needed to fix leaky schools, where's the money going to come from? Well, I mean, which question do you want me to answer first? Let's go for the leaky schools first, then. Well. I mean, of course, schools should be able to choose different educational standards to aim for. I mean, the idea of everyone having to do the one thing with the same set of standards just because they're there, I mean, that's not going to encourage diversity, is it, John? No, no, of course not. Thank you, Minister. Um, how does that relate to your insistence that all schools promote uh, national standards, then? <laughs> well, I don't think you can decide future actions based on past experience. <laughs> That would be very foolish, wouldn't it, John? <laughs> sure would. <laughs> but isn't it true that if you're saying that NCEA isn't sufficient to stretch the most gifted students, doesn't that mean then that the national standards that you set in place probably aren't doing that either? Well, I mean, they're not my national standards, they're ours. I actually wanted to be Minister of Beauty, but uh, John insisted on having that one. <laughs> yeah, I got that one first. <laughs> well, what's the difference between NCEA and national standards then in respect of choice and different levels of achievement? Oh, well, that's obvious. I mean, the NCEA are very old. Whereas my, I mean, sorry, our standards are brand new. Do you see? So come on then, Minister. How are you going to fix all those leaky schools then? Well, we've discovered, um, and we have taken this up to the highest level, believe me, is that we do have a way of mending leaky schools because there is a new clause in the law, in the Education Act, that says that I can give as much money as I like to schools as grants, totally at my discretion. Now, there's only one drawback. Well, it's not really a drawback, but more of a condition. You do have to become a private school. Then I can write you a cheque for whatever you need. You can do whatever exams you like, we can mend all the leaks. My boss is pleased, I look good and we all get re-elected. Now don't forget, we're all going to become private schools. Please, do it for Tommy. And have you any comment, Prime Minister? Oh look, how could anyone doubt this woman's expertise? The National Party is strong, united, ready for anything. Minister of Education is a very important job and it can't be done by just anybody. Look, if, if Anne Tolley's not qualified to be Minister of Education, what would that say about me? Antony, Prime Minister, thank you very much. Coming up on Behave, we'll be following John Key as he works on his Man of the People image as he starts his election campaign with a rap. And we'll be asking more politicians to appear on the programme. If they agree, we'll of course put them on, and if they refuse, we'll be taking them off. So see you soon, and remember, Behave. <laughs>